Blessed morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us enter into the Word. Today's Gospel reading is taken from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The theme is, Holiness is just a yes away. Today's Gospel from Luke is a familiar one. It is the story of Mary's Annunciation when the angel appeared to her and revealed that she would conceive and bear a son. What is Mary's response? Firstly, a personal relationship. Now, Mary had to have a deeply personal relationship with God. Amidst the turmoil, the storm of emotions, and the future of uncertainties as an unmarried girl who is with child, it was her personal relationship that enabled her to trust and say yes to God. In her Magnificat in Luke chapter 1, verse 46, Mary expresses her joy and gratitude for the Lord's goodness and mercy. Like Mary, brothers and sisters, we need to be grounded in the God we know, trust and love. If we do this, we can believe and put our trust in God. He will give us His grace and strength to weather the storms that come our way. This will bring us peace. Secondly, Handmaid of the Lord. Mary uses herself the title of a servant that is Handmaid of the Lord. This title of servant is from the book of Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 9 and chapter 49 verses 3 to 6 which represents the mission of the people. Now, it is not as a privilege but rather as a service to other people. Later, Jesus will define his mission as a service in Matthew chapter 20 verse 28. I have not come to be served, but to serve. Here, Jesus learned this from his mother. And thirdly, my brothers and sisters in Christ, God's favour. God's favour does not automatically bring instant success or fame, nor having special privileges or exemptions. God bless Mary giving her the honour of being the mother of the Messiah. Simeon, a righteous and devout man, told Mary in Luke chapter 2, verse 35, A sword will pierce your own soul too. Mary will experience pain and even seeing her son, Jesus, being rejected and being nailed to a cross. But through her son, he would become the world's only hope. In her Magnificat, her song announces not only the birth of Christ, but also the birth of a new people, a liberated people, a people whose life will be centered on the spirit of life. This is why Mary has been praised by countless generations as a young girl who found favor with God. Mary's submission was part of God's plan to bring about our salvation. If sorrow weighs us down and dims our hope, we look to Mary, who waited patiently for God to finish working out His plan. Do not wait to see the bottom line before offering our lives to God. Offer ourselves willingly, even when the outcome seems disastrous. Reflection, Mary gave a yes to the divine message after hearing God's messenger. Mary is a model of faith for all of us because she believed God's promises, even when it seems impossible, as said in Luke chapter 37 verse 1, with God nothing is impossible. Let us imitate her example by giving our simple and humble yes because every moment of the day 
is an opportunity to become more Christ-like. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, help us to live a graceful life as your mother did by believing in God's promises so that we can give our unqualified yes to do the Father's will and plans for our own lives. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless and have a blessed day, brothers and sisters.